How is a gas station a problem if it's not still there? It can be difficult to understand why a gas station that used to be on your property is a problem. After all, if the tanks and pumps aren't there anymore, how could there be contamination? The simple answer is that given enough time, all tanks leak. When tanks are removed, it doesn't necessarily mean that the contamination, if present, was removed as well. Without an answer to this question, it's likely you may need further assessment. There are several scenarios to think about when assessing properties with old gas stations. The best scenario is that the tanks were sampled and removed under regulatory oversight and there isn't any contamination left in the ground. However, this isn't always the case. Sometimes the tanks are still there and you just can't see them. Sometimes the tanks were removed, but there isn't any indication that they were removed properly, which means that the soil and possible groundwater were sampled at removal. Sampling is essential because it is the only way to tell if an old tank leaked or not. If the tanks did leak in the past, you could be purchasing a property that has contaminated soil or groundwater. And remember, if you own the property, you own the contamination. So make sure you do your due diligence and do a phase one if you are aware of a historical gas station. But also, remember that the cost of a phase two to determine whether that old gas station is a problem is small in comparison to the amount of money it takes to remediate contamination.